What's going on guys? It's your boy Motor Man Dan and today we've got cracked on chimps black border run the strategy for this one You may have seen it before I've, I've used this uh, strategy a couple of times here uh, And that is the engineer Etienne strat uh, Now Etienne does give all of your monkeys camo detection and engineers doing um, Sentry experts and the Sentry Champion can pop all types of balloons. The Sentry Expert, or the Champion, has those purple ones that explode and they can pop everything. The Sentry Experts have four different um, types of uh, Sentry turrets that they can put out. The black one, which is Explosion, does not pop blacks, but does do Explosion damage. It can pop leads and all that. The yellow one, which is uh, good against Moabs, but cannot pop purples because it's an in, it's an energy beam. The yellow one cannot pop white balloons, but does or the, sorry the the white one does not pop white balloons, but it does freeze bluish white. And then the red one is a like a mini juggernaut, so it has a lot of pierce, uh, so it stacks really well with pin, the uh, the cross path for pin, which is the bottom path, uh, and it does not pop leads. <clears throat> So you kind of got a good mixture of all kinds of different um, um, issues there. Now, DDTs, of course, can be an issue. So with this strategy here, we went for a double discount village as well as one for a little bit of attack speed because attack speed increasing increases the, uh, the engineer's rate of tower placement. So you can have more towers on the field uh, if you increase their attack speed. But the other one is for the MIB, because we put a lot of fourth tier engineers all around the MIB, just to make sure that they can pop everything. Although Etienne does give them camera detection, I believe around 41. Uh, round 37 is the round that you may have issues with. Um, you just have to watch and, and uh, use your ability. At the end of round 37, there's a bunch of camo whites that come out. Uh, and that's before Etienne gives camera detection to everybody else. Because you don't have to rush camera detection, you can actually rush the sentry champion... Um, before needing camera detection or anything like that. Uh, so here you can see we're starting our discounting and our attack speeding. This is a really easy map. Um, and so you can just do a lot of cool strategies on this one. But uh, I think this, I think the engineer is just my favorite uh, type of strategy here. For sure. You can hear those explosions in the background. It's almost like a little bit of a beat. Like a rhythm. Got a bunch of money, so now we're spamming a whole bunch of fourth tier uh, engineers. Now you'll notice that some of the uh, sentry uh, turrets are showing up on the right hand side behind that tree. That tree is a blocker, so it does block line of sight, but that's what you have regular dart monkeys for. So engineers do not spawn typically their turrets on top of other monkeys. So you can always just place some dart monkeys there or other engineers, and then they'll put them in an empty spot. They'd rather stack them on other turrets than stack them on. Um, on that and I went for it overclocked as well because I wanted to overclock the sentry champion because the faster their attacks be the more uh, turrets they put down and those turrets explosions do a lot of damage to all the balloons and so I wanted more of them in that area also it's just a really strong tower so I just kept overclocking him and, uh, and there you go alright guys as always don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and I will catch you on the flip side deuces